say often that Sherry's superpower is that she gets people excited about compliance. And that doesn't happen on most campuses. And Sherry has such a personality of a collaborative spirit, support, uh, trusted. Uh, people come to her when they have questions about compliance and she listens and helps them and she helps them figure out how to do it, how to do it well. If I see that she presents herself as a resource, she can give um, great solutions and strategies in a, I think, a way that feels accessible to people. She has really high standards without it feeling that things are not being done correctly. Sherry's amazing. I mean, she has a really quantitative brain that's extremely organized, which is impressive when you're working with her on a committee. And she has an ability to relate that to a human. So she gives it to you in a way that you can identify with it, you can understand it, and breaks it down from the really organized way in her brain to something that's functional for a committee to use. I had so much opportunity as we prepared for the visit to work really closely with Sherry and to watch the ways that she prepared for the visit. And Sherry was preparing um, baskets for them that included treats and candies and things that she knew that they would want while they were here with us for three days. As she was putting the baskets together, she was putting some bags of M&Ms in the baskets. And I said, Sherry, you probably could get other people to help you kind of put these baskets together. And she said, well, I could, but I really want to make sure that all the M&M bags are turned in the same direction. And it's a funny story, but it's, it really demonstrates how seriously Sherry takes all of her work. And she really inspires people in that way. She sets high standards. Um, she meets those. But her attention to detail, I think, really is, is the thing that sticks out for me. I think Sherry is one of those people who keeps the heartbeat of the university beating. So I think if we didn't have Sherry, we'd have a really hard time filling that role. Uh, she does a lot in terms of her work in university assessment, but also just in her work with people. So making sure that she's kind of aware of what's going on across the university and not someone who's just asking for things later for assessment purposes. She makes the university complete. She's like a puzzle piece that we would be missing big, big time if she wasn't here. So another aspect that I really appreciate about Sherry is how she brings her whole self to bear. She's always thinking about how to plan things for the group when we're at conferences to help us be engaged more. So she does an amazing job with her work, but she brings so much of herself and her desire to make people feel comfortable in that setting. And that's something I've really appreciated and I've noticed that others do too. Sherry, thank you so much for all you did for ETSU as we prepared for SAC COC. I've said this to you before in person, but there is no way we would have had the result that we had without your amazing efforts. Um, one, I would say, Sherry, thank you for supporting me and um, believing in me to be able to do the work with you on the SAC COC reaffirmation and the QEP. There's no way um, I would have had the confidence to lead that effort without your support. Sherry, thanks for everything you do at ETSU. You really are the heart of this institution and you help us keep things moving and keep things going. So I look forward to continuing to work with you throughout your career and thanks for being an ETSU hero.